Hello, yo, 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 Linda is in the house. Okay, or just hi. <laughs> it is the second part of Stitch Mania. Uh, I really enjoyed the six days. I uh, granted uh, or gave uh, Watchmen by Lisa Parker picture here and I spent six days stitching on it um, it is a heaven and earth design of course and um, here I will cut in a long stitch and chat um, with me stitching on the Watchman talking about life and projects and plans and everything that just came to my mind. So go ahead and watch that. Grab some stitching and just stitch with me. Um, I just saw on the screen that something was moving, so I was afraid that my phone was going to fall to the ground. Uh, but it didn't. Um, and after the stitch and chat, I will make a conclusion of my impression of stitching on Watchman. See you in a bit. Hey guys. How are you all doing? realized I have my earphones on. I don't need that now. Yeah. So, how are you doing? I hope everyone is doing fine. It is Monday the 10th of May. And I'm off work today because I worked the weekend. I was supposed to be home alone, but after driving my husband to work, um, and I got back home, my daughter said that she had a sore throat. So then I can't send her to school, of course. Um, yeah, and this week they're only going to school from Monday to Wednesday because we have a holiday on Thursday. And then schools are closed Friday as well. Uh, but at my daughter's school, they have a distance school distance schooling every second week and then they need to be at school every other week so she was supposed to go there today and those weeks that um, they're at school uh, the teachers plan of course all the tests and everything so I don't know if it's the sore throat or if it is the pressure at school she feels that just gets too much sometimes I don't know but when someone says they have a sore throat then yeah we can't go so you might be wondering what I am stitching. So this is uh, my second part on Stitch Mania. And as you might know, um, I have decided to start five new Heaven Earths 
uh, during the month of May and I'm giving every new start six days of stitching. Uh, so the first one I started was Midnight Munchies, Midnight Munchies with Randall Spangler, no by Randall Spangler. And uh, that was nice. So you can watch uh, part one if you're interested in that. And uh, now my second start is uh, Watchman by Lisa Parker. And it is a super sized and it is max colors. And um, I started this on Friday. When is this? Friday the 7th of May. Yeah, it has to be. Um, and I'm stitching it on um, where am I at? Oh, there. Uh, 28 count even weave. And I'm using one strand. And I'm stitching over one, as you can see. Um, and I didn't fully kit this one up because I've decided I'm going to extreme cross country stitch it, at least to start with. And I know I said there is like 150,000 black stitches. No, there's like almost 200,000 stitches. So I thought, well, let's just, there's like, I think it calls for 40, 53 or 54 skeins of black. So I got a whole cone, which uh, is uh, the same as 53 skeins. So. I'm just gonna stitch black and I'm enjoying it very much. It's very calm and simple. Um, no changing colors. And I'm just trying to do a column at a time, a page at a time. So it's nice, it's very nice. And Um, I have stitched so far let's see 5041 stitches so it goes pretty fast now I must check my pattern I'm using pattern keeper and I have it here have it just to my side yeah I'm really enjoying this I hope it stays in focus and all I noticed the last time I filmed it was all blurry and I have no idea why seven stitches one two three four five I just made, oh my God, I have a confession to make. One, two, three. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. I found out about these uh, threads called CXC. It's from China. And everything from China is cheap. Well, usually. Anyway, it's not always good stuff, but I, found out about that it's kind of like they make their own threads or their own flaws and there are some sellers in the UK um, who sells these 
glasses and it's double labeled so the CXC has their color number but on the second label, label it sh shows the DMC number and I I found them the groups on Facebook and I've asked if it really is true that these threads are as good as they say and if I could like kind of kit up a heaven and earth with these threads and I got a lot of positive feedback about it and considering that a skein of TMC in Sweden costs uh, yeah, one euro. Um, that's a little bit over a dollar per skein. And you know, if I'm gonna kit up, like the one I want to kit up at the moment, which is a super size with the max colors, I need around 300 and what did I get? 335, 350 skeins. And you double that, that's like 350 euro. That's a lot of money. And the price uh, on these um, CXC is under a pound. It was like 25p. And that's a huge difference. So it's even worth the order from the UK, which now has, you know, left the European Union so we have to pay taxes and customs and everything from them as well which sucks but so I won't be able to order like all the mirabilias and all the chatelaines even from Hawkins Hobbies anymore uh, not in the way that I have uh, so I have like one mirror and one chatelaine left to get from Hawkins so that will be like a hundred dollar fee for them when they get Sweden and then yeah seriously oh yeah and then I have that one coming as well from oh man yeah I just need to Anyway, I'm glad I found the CXC. So I'm slowly trying to uh, kit up a new Amy Stewart. It is the Amazing Animal Kingdom, the super size with max colors because I've seen the whips and they look amazing. With all the detail and all those sweet animals. I also like um, the North American animals, but it's the mountain lion there in the middle. The head is so big and I'm like, as a max color, it would take forever to stitch. I don't know if I want that. So I like, I don't know why, what did that have to do with anything? I don't know. I like the Amazing Kingdom. I've had that on my wish list, wish list for a very, very long time. Uh, but since, well, most people start in the upper left corner, which I also prefer. Uh, so, and we know that a lot of us just doesn't go any further than maybe the first page or two. I don't know. I don't think because we get, well, maybe because we get bored, but we get caught up in wanting to kit up and start so many new uh, projects. So we kind of stay there and then we, all of a sudden we have like 20 <laughs> whips in the rotation and we kind of, maybe sometimes we fall out of love with that project and we don't want to 
continue i don't know i have some of them um but i've seen that first first page of the the bird and the gorilla so many times so yeah it's like almost like once upon a fairy tale you see that owl and the walls and the books so many times that it kind of takes off the edge for me at least um to stitch it i enjoy watching uh, the whips which people share and it looks amazing but when i then start to think about well then i myself have to stitch all those thousands of stitches to get to see the same gorilla it's not a surprise anymore you know that wow effect it's not there the same way i don't know maybe it's stupid to think like that but yeah um so it's been there for years and now i just when i found out about the uh cx cxc uh, floss i decided to to go for it because it won't cost me a fortune to kit up so where am i i'm going to stitch four 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 stitches and uh when i was searching for those somebody i think it was somebody on floss tube who showed a pattern yes i know who it was it was the dutch girl um i just found her on floss tube very sweet girl um yeah i can't remember her na name i'm sorry um but she showed this african animal design by Ciro Manchetti. So I had to go look at them. And that's when I saw uh, also the North American animals and was it the enchanted forest animals? I can't remember the names. <clears throat> um, but then I discovered another chart i guess i've seen it before i must have seen it before but this time i fell in love with it for a long time i've had the one way traffic supersized max colors on my wish list but it gives you know the impression of circus animals to me it does anyway and a lot of zero manchetti's designs gives those yeah theater scenes and there's animals in them and yeah i'm one of those i don't like that um unfortunately because like amy stewart has some awesome circus bookshelves as well but no so I was so happy to find this other Ciro Manchetti, which just looks so amazing. And it has animals in it. It is the evening stroll. Yes, I'm not going to edit in pictures here. So if you're curious, head over to Heaven and Earth Designs and type in evening stroll and the stroll is with two L. I just love it. I really, really, really love it. That turtle is just so cool. And it has this elf, wood elf tree on his back. And then you have the fox and you have the snails and you have the birds and butterflies. And you have the flying ships 
wooden ships in the sky. It's just, and you have the owls and everything. It's just so amazing. Yeah. And the colors are so nice. They're so beautiful. Yep. So I'm in totally, I'm, I just need it. I need it. I need it. I really, really need it. However, <laughs> however, they only have it as a mini or as a regular. And then first I was thinking, well, there is a lot of detail in the regular size. I have seen a whip of the, the top row on uh, Facebook and it looks amazing. It really does. So first I was thinking, well, let's just go for the regular. I'm never ever going to finish it as it is. However, when I look at the crop over at the turtle's head, where the sun is breaking through, I don't like the pixels I see there. I don't like it. And I think that kind of happens when there is a lot of like blocks of colors or when you look at the picture itself it's not that bright I have that same thing with Deliciosa um, where is it is it uh, I think it's some part of her dress where the Sun is really hitting that white and it goes totally white but if you look at the picture it's not that white and you know that if you choose a max color or like super sized max color you will get another kind of detail in there <clears throat> which I prefer but I don't know if I should torture myself and ask for a special service and get them to make the evening stroll as regular size but expanded colors or max colors or just go for the whole shebang and do a full size with max colors. I cannot make up my mind. And it's eating my brain. And I hate it, really hate it when my thoughts of kidding up new designs uh, or new charts and how to make it as extreme as I can get it and you know I just think about it all the time and it's very annoying really and it won't stop until I've ordered you know made the order and every time I make such an order or a plan I promise myself that that's the last one I just need to get some progress in on the stuff that I have, which I still love so much. Yeah. But then there is some weeks, a month max, and then I find something new. Yeah. And now I found Gekka Rouge. Oh my God. Well, honestly, First of all, there was just like two pieces that I really, really, really wanted. And I'm like, well, at least there's only two that I like. But then I started looking and looking and looking and all of a sudden I have like, well, I have at least five that I really, really want. And it's just so silly. Yeah. Sometimes I just get very tired of myself. But yeah, I caved in. Big time on Gekka Rouge. Holy shit. Oh, what have I done? Well. And I'm like, I'm turning 45 years this year. 
45 years. I've lived more than half my life. And even if I do get older than 90, I cannot sit and stitch when I'm 90 years old. We all know that. I'm like, I can see the end of stitching here, you know, and I'm ordering kits that will take a lifetime to finish. What's wrong with me? Yeah, seriously. Uh, I wanted to do this like stitching chat. I'm like, what am I going to talk about? My life is so boring. Well, I, I, no, my life is not boring, but maybe to some other people it is. I kind of wake up in the morning, walk the dogs, drink a cup of coffee, I go to work. I work as a secretary at the hospital on the clinic of infectious diseases. Yes, I'm in the middle of the corona thing. I go home. Hopefully I don't have to make dinner, but sometimes I do, you know, to feed at least my child. And then I just want to sit down and stitch. Watch floss tube or listen to an audiobook. And then I want to go to bed. And during the day, I want to drink as much coffee as possible. And when the weekend comes, I want to eat a lot of snacks and ice cream and chocolate and stitch. I watch maybe a good movie, but a lot of floss tube and listen to the audiobook. I'm not a social person. I'm not out and about. So I don't have any stories, you know, happening, fun stories to tell. You know, I can tell you of some doctors that makes you cringe by how they dictate and yeah so I don't like I don't have much to say and my daughter she's like she's so calm and she's always home she plays games she watches YouTube she go to school when her throat is sore and that's it you know she likes to just hang around spend some time with me and my husband her father of course he lives here too and uh, yeah my husband uh, is still a gamer so that's what he likes to do he sits at his computer and he's gaming most of the time when he's home after work so we're very a very quiet calm family you know and we have two very very calm dogs yeah so i don't have these life stories to tell really um But yeah, I um, uh, when I was young, I lived in the south, very south of Sweden. And when I turned 18, I moved away from home. Um, I lived. I have an older sister and she had moved away from home before uh, but I lived with my dad um, and he was unfortunately an alcoholic so the first chance I got to get away from home I took and I 
found some friends in Denmark. It's in a, it's the neighbor country. And um, I found some friends and they helped me find a job and a floor to sleep on. So I moved and uh, I kind of started my grown grown up life there. It didn't, it wasn't as I had planned. When I was young, I wanted to become a police officer. That was my biggest dream, but um, that wasn't possible at that time. So I went to live in Denmark and I started uh, with cleaning. Uh, yeah, like a caretaker. Do you call that a caretaker? Cleaning in stores and stuff, offices. And then after a few, few years um, where I was cleaning, um, it was at an office uh, for the nurses and nurse assistants who, you know, they start there at the office and they go out to the old people and help them you know, take a shower, make them dinner, go shopping and everything. And they offered me a job there. So I took that and realized I really enjoyed that. So I educated myself as a nurse assistant and started working at these homes where old people who needs help 24 hours a day. So I started working there. Uh, and when I wasn't working, I was gaming. So, and that is how I met my husband. And we were having this, do you call it like a lawn? We were people, you know, from uh, Denmark and Sweden meeting at a place to, to game. So I met him there when we fell in love and I moved back to Sweden. I don't know why I'm telling you all this, but hey, um, I'm telling you my backstory. <laughs> so and when I got here, I took a new education for, you know, taking care of old people, but also, you know, like you could work at the hospitals and everything. So that's what I did. And I worked like that for a few years. And then I just felt like I wanted to do something completely different. But still, if possible, is to stay like within caretaking and hospital has hospital uh, environment. So I educated myself uh, as a secretary. And I don't regret that at all. I'm enjoying my job a lot. Um, and I got a job right away. I was very lucky. Um, so I've been working with that and at our hospital since then. Um, and then for one year at two times, one year at a time, I have had the opportunity to be uh, a supervisor, I guess, or a boss. I don't know what you, how you say it in English, uh, for the secretaries. And yeah, I was that working as that last year when Corona came and I don't know if it's because of that or something else, but I said that the extra money you get as be for being a supervisor, for me, it wasn't worth it. It's nice to have that extra money for sure. I miss them a lot, but no. 
So I applied for this job at the clinic for infectious diseases where I had worked a couple of years earlier and I got it. So I got back to my old working colleagues who I love, really love. And we have such a great time <laughs> together and we work very well together. So I'm there now and I've been there since the 1st of January. So, and I still don't regret it. I'm very happy with my choice. And yeah. It's uh, frightening sometimes to listen to what you're writing about. Some people, unfortunately, I think it seems, don't realize what COVID does. Yeah, what do I do as a secretary? You know, I'm, I'm, I've been thinking a little bit about that. How, how do I explain? You know, I of course write a lot. You know, what the doctors dictate. Letters, this, you know, like appointments, um, the final, um, I don't know what you call it in English, like when you've been to the hospital for days, you know, they write why, first they write why you're there and how you're feeling and what the plan is and everything. And then during the days you're there, you write like the daily sta status and if something happens, good or bad. And then when you're allowed to go home, they make this final like not story, but yeah, final kind of, uh, yeah, let's just call it story because I don't know what you call it. And, and you kind of tell from start to end what has been happening and all this. Uh, so that's like, that is the main thing that I do. But then uh, we also like, um, register diagnosis codes um, take care of the mail coming in and going out um, um, we book new appointments we make these laboratory consults where you fill in the the tests you need to take and, you, and order them and send them home to the patients and stuff so we do a little bit of everything and we service you know give service to the doctors and the nurses um, yeah kind of like that um, and when I work weekends, I just write and then I write all the emergency stuff, you know, like not on in the emergency, but what's urgent to be written. Uh, yeah. So I spend a lot of time sitting in front of the computer and then I go home and sit in front of my embroideries, no cross stitches. So that's a lot of sitting. Um, let's see. I'm stitching 
to there. So I think it's one more. Yeah. Hidey ho. Um. What else? What else? Um, I actually wrote down a little bit what if I didn't know what to talk about. <laughs> Seriously, I don't have that much to talk about. I'm sorry. I like to talk about my cross stitching, not just my cross stitching. Actually, I, I mean, I, oh, I love to listen to people, to t who's talking about their cross stitching. Yes. It's just so nice to just sit and listen. Yeah. Um. That's what I like about, I have not great experience with um, retreats, uh, but the Soul Stitch retreat I went to last year, and I was supposed to go this year, and we had an online meeting instead. It's just so nice to sit and listen to all the others, you know, rambling on about cross stitching and showing their stuff and I want to do that so much more and it's difficult being on this side you know sitting and being the one talking because I guess the ones who are you who are watching this or listening to this wants that same thing to have someone talking about cross stitching or whatever I guess some people like life updates. Uh, and just, for example, you know, Stitcherista, you know, the stories she has to tell sometimes. It's just, it's been a while, a long while since I looked at her floss tube or channel. Um, but she has so many stories to tell, and it, I don't really. I don't have that and oh yeah last week was it no it was this week no it's Monday so last week uh, Tracy at Tracy's craft house she was doing a stitch and shed or a stitch with me and she was talking about all these crazy <laughs> accidents she had been experiencing as a grown-up I guess or even as a child and she talked about her kids as well and she has her daughter Elliot in the background and you can just hear she's asking questions and talking a little bit and then she's giggling and it's so you know fun and but as I, said, I i couldn't help myself from, from laughing at their accidents and i was like i'm really sorry but you know the way you tell it is very fun uh but it's just nice to listen to that conversation between them and i don't know where i was going with that but yeah <laughs> go check her channel out i love their when they're stitching together or just sitting and talking and yeah she gives her life updates and it's like a way of getting to know the person behind that floss tube and it's very nice if you enjoy their floss tube and like them as a person 
the person you get to know on Floodstoop. <clears throat> so yeah, sometimes it's nice with uh, life updates. I'm stitching four. So. Oh yeah, life update on the twenty first of May. So less in less than two weeks. I think it's like twelve days left. Twelve days. I'm having my second COVID vaccination. My second dose. And. I was just lucky to get that prioritized in March because I was working where I'm working and I was supposed to work at the vaccine vaccination unit where we sit and book the second dose for the patients on staff. So And unfortunately, it just turned out that I am only like stepping in now if somebody's sick because we have a loss of employees as where I work. So it became very hard to be at, you know, many places at the, at the same time. So, so I'm, I'm only subbing now, but anyway, uh, I was picked out by my boss saying that, yeah, you should get the vaccine and where I'm working as well in that clinic, I guess it's good to have. Um, but we were offered for, at first, the third part of all staff at the hospital was given the AstraZeneca. It's called something else now, I don't know. And then after that, shortly after, it was uh, stopped. It was being paused because there was some bad side effects on younger people. That means people I think under the age of 65, meaning that some people died. So our country, Sweden, recommends that no one under 65 gets the vaccine. That kind of vaccine, yeah. So we were, were going to be offered Pfizer or Moderna, I don't know what you how you pronounce that in English. Um, but for the people who wanted to get the second dose dose with the vaccine that kills if you are very unfortunate. Um and I decided to go with the same vaccine as I got <clears throat> because um, nothing happened the first time. And I believe I'm healthy and don't have any issues, issues that, that causes these side effects. And no one knows what happens when we mix the vaccine so i just decided to go for the astrazeneca so i'm getting that on 21st so if you don't see anything on instagram or i don't make any floss tubes anytime soon then you know 
that something happened. But nothing will happen. And I'm done, done, done. I actually think I like this. Okay. So finish that column uh, on that page. So I only have partial pages down here. Um, so this is the supersized and from top to bottom it's 999 stitches and I decided to start from the bottom up. What I forgot is that it wasn't it's not 1000 stitches so um, I forgot and started like on the bottom line. I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah, my very these stitches have, should have been like one step up. And I realized that when I had stitched quite a lot, but like where I have gaps and all there that's correct it's just the bottom line and because it's all black i have just stitched one line of black so now i need to add like for example here there's two black stitches but on the pattern there's just one stitches so i'm just doubling everything at the bottom row so i just need to remember that <laughs> yeah anyway i finished that column so i'm, I'm starting the next column I'm going to show you how can I so you can see the black where I have stitched and all the green let's see if I can hold it so this is the partial page I'm on so I'm going to stitch the next column there and it's all green, so it means it's all black. So it's just taking it one row at a time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, what else, what else, what else? Yeah. Okay, so this is my second start. First it was Midnight Munchies with color expansion regular size this is the super size max color on 28 count and the munchies was on 18 ada so it was very nice to go back to even weave now since it's 28 count and i know i've said before i don't like 28 count all of a sudden right now i just love 28 count but i guess that's because it's just one color there's no confetti yet so it's easy peasy. So I was thinking that my third start would be a Randler Spangler because I'm starting a total total of three Randalls, then one Lisa Parker and one Matthew Matt Stewart. So first I thought like one Randall, then the Watchman, then a Randall then the um, Eternal Promise, and then a Randall. But I'm afraid that if I go to a Randall Spangler, which is going to be stitched on 25 count, and then when I've stitched on that for six days, 
I'm going to go to the Eternal Promise. And that is also stitched on 28 count. And then I'm afraid that it's going to feel like it's very small and difficult. So I'm actually considering to start the Internal Promise. Internal. Did I just say Internal Promise? Come on. <laughs> Oh my god. Eternal. Promise. Um, because it's on 28 count. I'm not gonna extreme cost. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking parking here. Just one row at a time. One grid at a time. A column at a time, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, um, and it's all on plain white fabric. It's not like easy grid. So I have I have already pre-gridded a thousand squares. No, not a a ten by ten. So it's it's a thousand stitches, but. Um, That's not gonna... Is it really? Isn't it 10,000? 10, 10 No, it should be it should be a thousand. Oh, me and maths. Yeah, and the person I was contacted, I contacted when I wanted to put that CXC order and I was trying, always try like to calculate how much it's going to be and all and like write to them I guess it's about this price or and I was going to calculate how many skeins in total and I'm like I hate counting but I think it's about 90 skeins and then I'm like I hate counting seriously you're a cross-country stitcher Yeah, I guess that's why I love Pattern Keeper, because you don't really have to count that many times. Well, a little bit, but still. It's not the same as paper patterns and non-gridded fabric. I'm running out of stuff to talk about. Well, I could go on and on and on about Heaven and Earth's designs and... Oh, the Chatelaines and the Mirabilias and everything else. And stitch rotations. Oh, that's also a thought that is just eating my mind. I need to find a stitch rotation where I can stitch all the things. <laughs> and I need to have I need to have my softest steel as a focus point. It's the one I have stitched the most on. Is it 30%? I don't know. And I don't know if I should give it one week a month or two weeks a month. If I give it two weeks a month, then I could choose like once upon a fairy tale, one week every month. And then the last week I could spin the wheel and let that choose any of the heaven or earths that I want to stitch at the moment. But at the same time, I'm like, but I want to stitch all of the heaven and earths. So then I need to spin the wheel many times, more times a month. So then I'm thinking maybe I should do two weeks with softest steel and then one week with this, like spin the wheel two times the rest of the month. 
but then I want to get more progress on my chatelaine because I have more chatelaines as well and they're just stunning uh, but if you want progress on heaven and earth I need to stitch on weekends so I'm thinking at some point I was stitching my mirabilia only on Fridays so I'm like should I do every second Friday I stitch on mirabilia so I can keep on getting a little bit of progress and then every second Friday I stitch on my shadow lane but then there won't be any more time to stitch on the samplers or the alphabet and it seems like I completely completely abandon the whip go otherwise whip go is quite cool to get progress and it was fun but then I just missed my heaven and earths yeah next year I will do whip go as a heaven and earth I think Yeah, and then we're getting the Gecko Rouges, and yeah. I don't know. I was thinking, first I was thinking just to stitch black here on Watchmen, the one I'm stitching on now, but <laughs> when I was trying to calculate, well, if I stitch 2,000 stitches a week, how many years would it take to finish just the black? It would take years, seriously. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't think like that. It's just depressing. So, and then I was thinking maybe... I could like stop here where I'm at at the black and then go back to the first partial play um, partial page and then pick the next color which would be like I think it's dark green or something and just fill in all the greens and go you know that's a possibility But when I see, when I look at uh, watch Ninja Needles uh, stitch, stitch and chats, oh, she's uh, ten stitching or half stitching, and she's doing the large world travel bookshelf, and she's just like snake stitching going from left to right and right to left left to right left it's so satisfying to look at oh my god and i'm just i really want to do that too on um it looks so simple you know so first i was thinking like couch dragon when i'm starting that later this month I'm really debating with myself if I should do full, full crosses, which I like the most. But then I'm like, it's pretty fast when you do like half stitches. But it gets a bit bulky at the confetti places and this is like a regular. So I'm thinking there should be quite some color changes in some of the places. And then I prefer like just stitching with one strand. So yeah, I should go with one strand. I, I so missed I wish I had like like a, a stitchy group where you could sit and and talk about these things and why hey, what do you think well I think why do you think that's better or how would you do it do you think these colors fit with that would you do 
you know, pick this fabric with that mirror. I miss that so much. I feel so alone in the because I, I have no one to talk with about those things. And yeah, you can always post the pictures in on a Facebook uh, Facebook group and ask for opinions. But it's not really the same thing. Is it? Stitchy friends here. Maybe I should ask for one of those um, what you what Pam and Steph. Pam and Steph in Just Keep Stitching. The, at the beginning of their channels, every uh, beginning of every floss tube, they do a hashtag Stitch Harmony. Yeah, Stitch Harmony. Maybe I should ask for Stitch Harmony in Sweden in and out and around whatever they say Trollhättan in Sweden <laughs> yeah I mean now when people are starting to you know get vaccinated soon we can start seeing each other but you know keeping a distance but we don't have to isolate ourselves like we should so hmm Yeah, we have the stitch retreat. I mean, I know Sweden isn't as big and huge as America. I know that. But we can still live <laughs> far apart in Sweden. So, yeah, it really has to be around the same area. So uh, the first part of uh, Stitch Mania, I was filming a little bit every day, and I just edited all it all together, put some music on, and then I had like a beginning and an end where I talked a little bit about that design and my experience with it. Um, and this time, I decided to just do this, like Stitch and Chat. Um, so I don't know how I will do the next time. Maybe I will just do a long se section with just stitching and put some music on. Um, maybe like when I'm starting, I don't know what people prefer to see when someone starts or when someone is in the middle or some in the middle of it or something. So, because, yeah, the days I'm working, I get home like around 4.30, 5 o'clock. And it just, there isn't time for filming too much and editing and floss tubing. And usually I'm not home alone I mean <laughs> um, so I don't want to sit here and talk to myself or I'm talking to you guys but like you're not here here at when I'm recording so I am kind of talking to myself even if I'm talking with you um, when my husband is like sitting behind me at his desk or my daughter in the sofa you know I wouldn't be comfortable with that. So I don't know what to do. So yeah, during Stitch Mania, I'm not doing like floss tubes and I'm not treating my stitch mania vi videos as a floss tube um 
so i guess in the end of may i will make one floss tube with all the stuff stuff in it maybe and doing the shout outs and uh do i have some haul do i have haul yeah i think i have a little bit of haul haul that doesn't sound fun haul people Oh yeah, and when you're sitting here talking to myself, but I am talking to you guys, I feel that I'm kind of starting to talking to myself in a way which is not meant for anyone to hear. <laughs> so I'm a little bit scared that maybe it will just... The more times I do this, it's just gonna be, I don't know, weird, maybe. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I think I should leave you guys and... I should... Go see what my daughter is up to. Even if she's home with a sore throat, she's not allowed to watch TV or YouTube. She's going to study. So I need to bring out the whip and see if she's doing what she needs to do. Yeah, I'm just kidding about the whip. I hope you understand that. Okay, one, and two, and three. Okay, guys, I am out of here. Have a nice day. Take care. Stay safe. And I will see you in another six days. Bye. So... Welcome back. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, I know I did. Um, so, six days, Watchman by Lisa Parker, a heaven and earth design. I stitched it on 28 count using uh, DMC thread, one over one. And if you followed me from before, I know I've mentioned a few times that I do not like 28 count. However, I decided for Stitch Mania to buy a 28 count. It was more or less that I couldn't find the 25 count, which would um, come in time for Stitch Mania. So I decided to go for 28 count. I don't know why, but it worked fine. I really enjoyed it. However, I have just stitched, as, as you saw on um, my Stitch and Chat, I only used black. So I'm the plan is to stitch this extreme cunt, uh, cross country, but I'm already thinking maybe I should just bring in some other colors. But I, I bought a cone of black DMC. And for my Swedish viewers, I bought it on Bruderishoppen.se uh, from Sarah. Uh, highly recommend her. There's a great stitching group as well on Facebook called Soul Stitch for us Swedish crazy people anyway now i'm going to show you how much i stitched all right and <laughs> i oh, look at this it's so big it keeps on going it never ends it never ends and there is the end i bought the largest frame from omanic frames in Talon, Lithuania. Anyway, this is my progress. And I finished the three bottom partial pages. It's all black. Oh, look at that coverage. Oh my God. So, I mean, seriously, I don't know. 
I don't like to stand up because then you're gonna see other parts of me than just my face, but I'm gonna do it just for you, just to show you how huge this frame is. I'm like, all right, to my boobs, sorry. I'm And I'm like, I think I'm five feet six, five feet five, five feet, I don't know, something like that. 168 centimeters tall. And that's how big it is. Forgive me, it's amazing. Anyway, and uh, I get a little bit uh, accelerated sometimes. I don't know why. Uh, I enjoyed the stitching. I, I got a total of something around just above 8,000 stitches in six days. And of course, no switching colors or anything. Just grab a piece of black thread, thread a needle and just hit the fabric, you know. Stab, 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 stab. So I'm very pleased. I just love, I'm peeking, I'm showing you the picture here again. I just love this picture with a watchman. I don't know why I like these kind of birds, but they're just freaking cool. Uh, yeah, let's just keep it short. Um, so what do you think? Uh, what will I stitch the next coming six days? Will I go for the Eternal Promise by Matt Stewart or will I start one of the other Randall Spangler's uh, which is Couch Dragon or Treasure Quest. Which do you think it will be? Well, you will have to wait and see. I will see you in six days. So have a nice one. Take care. Bye.